It is a common situation when you record your first web test, reload the application, replay the test and receive the object not found error in the report. Usually it looks like this. You click record button, Repeat connects to the browser. You perform the steps and click finish button. Then you insert the recorded steps into your test. Then you reload the application and run your test. And see the object not found error. Don't be surprised. It is easy to fix. What causes object not found error? Most probable reason is that the locator recorded for the object is invalid. Let's find it in our recording. Click on the error line link. Right click the object and find it in the object tree. Find the XPath property of the object and open it in the value editor. This is the locator of the object. When an object is not found, first thing to try is to flash the object. Make sure that the object is displayed on the page. Right-click it in the object tree and select Flash. If the object is not found in this case as well, our suspicion is confirmed. So we need to repair the locator of this object. Let's look at the locator. Obviously, it uses ID of the object that is different every time the page is loaded. You may use two methods to fix the locator. First method is to fix the object manually using the WebSpy. Select the WebSpy from the drop-down list and launch it. Wait for it to load the DOM tree of the page. Then select the object in the object tree. You may see it is not found on the page. Enter tracking mode to locate the object in the DOM tree. Press Ctrl T to stop tracking. Use one of suggested variants for the locator. Double click the name or compose your own in the edit field. Test the locator. Click Relearn button to use the new locator for the object. Close the web spy. And notice that the locator of the object has been updated. Play the test. With updated locator, execution is successful. Second method is to configure the recorder. Navigate to File View. Right-click the test name, choose Create and add the Web App Profile configuration for the recorder. Instruct the recorder not to use ID attribute that contain digits. Start recording. Perform the steps and then click Finish button. Insert the recorded steps into your test. Find the locator. It is not using dynamic ID attribute anymore. Play the test. With recorded locator execution is successful. You may try both methods yourself. Find the link to the page in the video description. Now you know how to cope with object not found error easily.